If Shapes Could Talk, written by Rella B. Illustrations by Wenny S. Narrated by Russell Corwin. My mom is a triangle. My dad is a square. I am a rhombus, and we all live over there. Our house is a big dome, and it holds the things we own. We have knickknacks and doodads and a garden that we've grown. My uncle is a rectangle, and my aunt is an oval. Grandma and grandpa are circles, and everyone is so jovial. I love my shapely family. Our days were always so fine. But when I began to go to school, I saw families different than mine. Maxine, the polka-dotted hexagon, had a mom and dad striped and square. They had a huge house with a heart-shaped pool. I wondered, well, how is that fair? Why don't I have a bigger house or look unique with dots? Thoughts kept running through my head of our differences, and there are lots. I wanted the things that Maxine had, but was that wrong of me to say? I asked my dad, can we have a pool? He said, not now, dear. Go along and play. One day Maxine invited me over. We played with all of her things. She had a cat, a dog, a bird, and a house big enough for kings. Maxine, I said, I love your stuff. You must never be bored here. Maxine smiled sadly and replied, I miss the ones that I hold dear. Maxine explained that she was adopted. She lost her mom and dad. Her smile started to fade away, and she became a little sad. I hugged Maxine and told her, I'm sorry, I really didn't know. She looked at me and said, It's okay, but I think it's time for you to go. I grabbed my things and ran back home. When I got there, I held my parents tight. My mother asked, Baby, what's wrong? I glanced up and said, I don't think I was right. I explained the things Maxine went through and how I messed up our play date. I thought I wanted all the things she had, but I realized that my life was great. I have two parents that love me so and a beautiful garden to play, a house filled with love and laughter, and I can see my family every day. When I saw Maxine again, I gave her a hug. I apologized for being jealous and coy. She taught me a lesson that I'll never forget. That comparison is the enemy of joy.